All right, so what we have here today is the Reaper Survival Expansion Kit. Um, they offer two kits, and the first kit that they offered um, comes with brushes and paints and whatnot that I already have. Uh, so I just ordered the expansion kit, and that's what we have here today. So the post office was kind enough to start opening this for me. So I'll just rip it open from the back. And so here we have our home survival expansion kit. It comes with 10 minis and six paints. The minis will be different, assuming you order at different times and they randomly select them. The six paints are always the same. So these are some other minis that I ordered from them. We got the Shadow Eyes Cat Folk. A vampire, since we'll be running Curse of Strahd soon. A female vampire for the Curse of Strahd. A Dwegar dwarf. And this was the free mini for the month. Alright, so we can go ahead and open up the actual survival kit. we have. So we got a Yeti, it looks like. Probably the Yeti Shaman. And Buzzard on a gravestone. And a Dwarf. Uh, I'm not sure quite what he is. We got Mr. Bones with a shovel, Gold Prospector, uh, another Dwarf, maybe of the Cleric variety, another Dwarf with swords, and a Western style, probably one of their Chronoscope minis. And then the paints that come in every set currently are the Runic Purple. Spectral Glow, Rose Gold, which is a great color. Um, they offered this as a promo paint and now it's normally in their line. Warrior Flesh, Meadow Green, and Sunrise Orange. Just had to make a little add on to the video. I did miss one, it was hiding in the corner. So it looks like. Uh, an elf warrior, maybe uh, paint him up as a drow. So I just wanted to make sure I showed all 10 of the minis that I got and the paints. So I just wanted to talk about the value of this kit a little bit. On the website, it costs $24.99 to order. Um, from Reaper, if you order $40 or more in stuff, then the shipping is free, which I did by buying the additional miniatures. So in this kit, you got 10 randomly selected miniatures and six paints. Of the 10 miniatures that I got, uh, really I play mostly fantasy games, D&D and whatnot. So the two miniatures that I got with guns, I probably would not use. The hillbilly is pretty funny and I'll probably end up painting him anyways. And then in the paints, I already had the rose gold. So it that didn't really add value of the kit to me. So I went on the website and priced everything out. And the total cost of the survival kit expansion would be $55.05. But since I'm not going to use all the miniatures in one of the paints, that didn't really add any value to the kit for me. So for me, the value is $45.38. So it's really about $20 cents less, or $20 less than 
um, buying everything individually. Um, I really like the Yeti Shaman and the Buzzy. I can see where I'd use a talking bird in a campaign for the fun of it. The dwarves, um, you can always have more dwarves, so I'll use all those. And then the elf and the, I believe it's a half-orc character from Pathfinder, will work great for me. So thank you for watching, and I hope you learned a little bit more about the expansion kit.